Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about Tableau Pulse, the latest product uh, from Tableau, which is an AI powered tool. So let us get started without wasting much time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So if you go to Tableau's official site under the product section, we have a list of products that Tableau is offering. And one of the major application that we use in and out is Tableau desktop, which is like, you know, for creating our reports. Now, the latest edition, if you see, is a Tableau Pulse, which is an AI-powered tool, which helps us in giving uh, the, the insights on the data. And you know, it is more convenient, and it, is, it allows users to track the data and all. So let us get started and see a little interface uh, of how you, Tableau Pulse will look like. So for that, I'm trying to log into uh, Tableau Online. So this is coming from, uh, or this is available in your server as a part of uh, you know, this application here. So when you create a trial uh, based server, I have created a trial server. And under that, once I log in, you know, I'll see an option here as a Tableau Pulse. Okay, so this is our actual server where we publish all the reports like how we have here. But below that, you will see Tableau Pulse as an option here. So we can go and explore what are the different uh, options that we have here. So this is uh, your Tableau Pulse, like, you know, ask your admin to turn on Tableau AI. So, you know, our admin has to turn on this so that we can use this application. Now, what we'll do is we'll try to create a, a simple metric and we'll see how that will look like. So I'm trying to create a new metric. So I'm clicking on new metric definition. So when it does that, the first thing it is asking us, what is the data source? So we can click on the data source. So I, because I have already published one report, so it is taking that data source and I click on connect. Once you connect to that, it is asking us to name the metric that you are trying to create. So I'm trying to create a metric called as a total sales. And uh, I'm just giving a description, which is not mandatory uh, insights on sales. Okay, now if you scroll down, it is asking us what is the measure that you want. I want to select the sales because that is what I'm trying to define. And what is the aggregation? Same like how we have uh, in desktop, similar thing are there, but it is like simple selecting from the list. Okay, I'm selecting some. You can select a list of uh, the any aggregated field that you want. So once you do that, next is show sparkline values to date as. So what do you want to calculate? You want to calculate running total or non-cumulative. I'm selecting running total because I want to see a total sales and we can also select the dimension that we want. So Tableau is asking what is the time dimension you want? So it is star. So any star mark indicates that it is mandatory. So here this is mandatory, right? So I'm selecting the time dimension as order date. So if you are trying to correlate with Tableau, I'm trying to take sales and sum as an aggregation and order date as the simple dimension. Along with that, now it is automatically taking this compare to metric prior period and, you know, prior, prior period and prior year. Okay, so we can uh, close this if you don't want to, but I'm just keeping it because that's the default. Uh, I mean, that is what I want to do here. And uh, then what I'm trying to do is any adjustable metric, like any filters that you want to add. Maybe I want to do it at a category level. So I'm adding category here. Okay. So number format again, formatting, if at all you want to do all of that, you can control from here. And then once you have created this metric, so this total sales you have created, which will give us insights on this and we can track it. Okay. We can click on save definition and this is now being saved. So this is one metric that you have created for your organization, which they can clearly track. Now, 9.7 is the total sales and it is trying to give us how we have fared and how we have done in the same period in the previous year. So March 1 to March 7, previous month, how much we have done. Previous year in the same period, how much we have done. So all your insights in a single screenshot or in a single screen, your current sales, your previous previous month sales and previous year time period. Okay. Maybe if at all you want to learn or you want to explore more, you can try to you know recreate the same calculation in Tableau desktop. That way you can get hands on 
on how the calculation will work in desktop. And then if I scroll down further, it is giving us total sales this month has reached 7.K on April 6th, 2024. So it is trying to give us a descriptive information and along with that, some key observations that it is finding on the data. Like if at all you want to find out any more information or any more data, like if you remember, we have taken category as a dimension, right? I can click on that, like which category increased the most. I can click on that. Now see here, it is automatically comparing the data and give us, giving us the insights on that. It is telling that, okay, technology compared to the to, uh, to, uh, compared to last month, total sales increased by 3.9K and technology and furniture sales increased the most. So it is giving us a quick observations on the data as well, okay? That way you can track all the metrics that you want. And if at all you want to follow this metric, you can simply click on this and you can keep following, you know, what are the changes that you have done. Now, again, I can go back and again, if at all I want to create few more, I can clear that, click on this connect. And this time I'm maybe I'm giving it as total profit because I want to uh, do analysis on profits. I'm measuring it as profit insights. Same likewise, I am selecting my measure as profit here. And uh, again, sales, same, I'm keeping it as same. Order date. So same thing I'm trying to do for both my cat uh, sales and profit for a category dimension. I'm clicking on save again. Now this is my profit analysis that I'm doing with respect to my category. Now it is trying to tell me that, okay, 581.7 is a total profit we have made in this period. So if you look up the same period, if I see in my previous month, we have done a loss of minus 928.3. Likewise, same period previous year, how much we have made a loss of minus 1.3K. So compared to previous year or previous month, we have done a very better job where we got a profit. That way we can analyze this. So we can all also click on this breakdown that will give us at the level of dimension that we have specified in the view. Okay, so that's about how we can create and follow. And if at all, I can click on this, it will take me to the home page. And you know, what are the metrics that we are following? If you remember for total sales, we have clicked. So it is on the screen. So like this, we can create the custom insights for our users and they can follow those metrics so that they can creep it, keep a track on it and get regular insights on what is happening. I can also browse my metrics. So if you remember, if I click on browse metrics, we have created two metrics here. One is uh, total profit and another one is total sales. So it is giving us the information here. And if at all, I want to see metric details, I can click on this and I can click on metric details, it will give me the same information. Again, if at all, I want to follow this as well, I can click on this, okay? So total followers. So based on the users available, it will give us, as of now, we have only one follower that I am following. So it is giving us, if at all, I want to remove it, we can remove it. And now again, if I go back or click here, it is giving us what are the metrics that we are following. Total sales we are following, total, Profit are the two metrics that we are following. Okay. So these are personal insight summaries. Okay. And this is powered by, you know, instance technology of uh, Tableau, you know, which is actually a base product of uh, Salesforce. I hope, I hope so. you have learned something about Tableau Pulse. If it does, don't forget to give a comment in the comment section. And if you need more videos on this, don't forget to, you know, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.